Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today these are my thoughts on Season 3, Episode 3 of Taskmaster and this one is called A Little Polythene Grief Cave. Now this episode, if, if you haven't seen it yet, go and watch it on Daily Motion. but this episode was one of the best ones I've seen in a very long time and that is just mainly because how much I enjoyed the tasks. Like, the first one you had sweating into an egg, into an egg cup. Wow, <laughs> everyone had different ways of doing this one. Some of them did it by exercise, and then you have people who fought outside the box. For example, Sarah, she did it where it, the task stipulation was it was your own sweat, as in you have ownership of it. She got sweat off someone else and purchased it, and that's how she got first place. Al tried to say that urine and sweat were the same thing, I d they're not, it was confirmed that they weren't, so he didn't get any points for that episode for this task, sorry. And yeah, Sarah, Sarah fought well on this one. And now we move on to the second task. This is one of my favourite tasks out of all of the Taskmaster episodes I've seen. This one they had to create a domino stack, and like, just, you know how you have a set of dominoes and when you push it, it pushes them all. I love this one, just because of how creative you can be with this. So we start off, we had Al who had one which was difficult, like if it had worked it would have been really good because he spelled out a word with it, unfortunately the dominoes didn't work. Sarah's again using the different use of the word rally, but it wasn't that great. And then we, ah oh, Paul, I loved Paul so much, he literally pushed and then it went into something, into something else, then it rolled a ball and then it hit an egg which fell into a pan. Unbelievable. And Paul, if you guys haven't seen it, Paul did exceptionally well today. Then we move on to the flags task we have. It's the whole debate about whether it's a good meal and whether it looks like a flags. We had beautiful flags. For example, Sarah's flag was great. Al's um, Union Jack was great. But then it had to look good as well. And like, for example, Dave, incredible looking pirate flag and a nice variety of foods. It, it, it was a good flag, he deserved to get first place on that one, Dave. And Rob, yeah, last place, because he literally just left the white background, put a bit of ketchup on the pancake in the middle, <laughs> and made the Japan flag. And then it moves on to the last task. Now, this one, I was struggling to think of a way for this to be done correctly. And then Sarah, with her idea of like putting the balloon, the, um, the thing you tie into the uh, toast, Incredible idea and the episode finishes with Paul finally winning himself an episode and I guys I was so happy for him But more importantly than that if you look at the actual series lead Let me get it up here. Owl has fallen off top uh, leader of the series and now Rob has it So going into these final two episodes it is literally everything to play for I don't know if Paul can come back and win this but Al and Rob can both win this and I'm pretty sure like Sarah and Dave are still in with a chance of this so guys we have everything to play for and I can't wait to get into episode 4 I know it's been a bit of a while since I have done a Taskmaster I haven't I've just had some problems this past week but I love this episode can't wait to get back into it and yeah if you guys do enjoy this video and are excited about the end of the series make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later for the next video